Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use Magic Eraser tool in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to use Magic Eraser tool in Adobe Photoshop CS6. First, we need to open an image. How to open an image? It's quite simple. Go to File and click the option Open. The shortcut is Ctrl plus O. Select the image you wish to open and click the option open. When you click the option open, Photoshop will create a default layer called as background layer and you can see the layer is locked. How to unlock the background layer? It's simple. Double click the layer and provide a name. Go to the toolbar and select magic eraser tool. The magic eraser tool is a powerful tool for quickly removing backgrounds or other unwanted elements from images. Before using the magic eraser, you need to adjust the tolerance level. The tolerance determines how similar in a color a pixel must be to the pixel you click in order to be erased. High tolerance value erases more pixel, while a lower value erases fewer pixel. Once the tolerance is set, you simply click on the area of the image you want to erase. The magic erase tool will then remove the pixel of similar color within the specified tolerance range. After erasing, you may need to refine the edges of the selection to make it more precise. This can be done using various selection and masking tools. Go to tolerance and set the tolerance to 85. Check the option contiguous and opacity to 100%. When you click on the image, the magic eraser tool will do the magic. The magic eraser tool magically erases the background in a single click. Removing backgrounds or other unwanted elements from the image can be easily done using magic eraser tool. Now I'm going to open an another image. Go to file, click the option open and select the image you wish to open and hit the open button. Drag the image a little bit down so that we can see both images. Use move tool to drag the image and place the image to the adjacent image. Now we copy the transparent image to the new image. You can increase or decrease the size of an image by using the shortcut Ctrl plus T, free transform. While resizing the image, hold shift to prevent the resolution of an image. Use move tool to place the image in the appropriate position. Now you can see we place the image in the appropriate position. Now it's a time to save the output. Go to file and click the option save us. When you click the option save us, save us dialog box will pop up. Provide a name and hit the save button. Again go to file, click the option save us. This time we are going to save the output as JPEG file. Provide a file name and hit the save button. And change the image quality to maximum and click OK. Select the layers and right click and choose the option merge layers in order to create a single layer. Now you can see the two layers are merged as a single layer. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. See you all in the next video.